Welcome back, guys. And uh, today we have another interesting topic to discuss that uh, I'm excited about. Now, just a few days ago, I got uh, some information from our friend EVB over there on his channel, and um, he he told me that there has been quite a bit of technological advancement in the touchscreen market over the past three years or so. Now uh, he uh, sent me a link to some some videos and some information on uh, basically this company their name is Tactus Technology. That is their the company's name. Their name is Tactus and they, they're specializing in developing microfluidic devices. Basically that where the touchscreen of a tablet or phone can use liquid to create um, buttons on the screen. So if you're wondering what microfluidic is technology, it's combining chemistry, engineering, biochemistry, physics, biotechnology, and nanotechnology in order to design and manufacture devices that channel fluid flows at a micro level. The global microfluidic device market is largely driven by its growing applications in the medical field. So obviously lots of hospitals and things like that are using this technology already. And Tactus is bringing this to the market. Um, first of all, I, they were supposed to release this um, these screen protectors for tablets last year. I haven't seen uh, much in the way of this, but they are supposed to be releasing screen screen protectors for tablets, where you could connect your screen protector over your your iPad um, keyboard, and you basically pull a, like a switch or a slot on the back, and it, and it pushes this fluid into where the keyboards would be, and it would create little buttons that would be um, appearing on the screen protector, allowing you to, to have tactile, you know. Uh, touch so you could have um, like, like a keyboard uh, that you could feel with your fingers and then of course if you push the slot off it would make the liquid go down and the screen would become flat again so Tactus was developing that but also they are developing to be released this year uh, touchscreen tablets that have the this technology built inside the device itself so they wanted to make it possible for you to be able to use it with your old devices and with your new devices as well. And basically, I'll read the description of how the technology works. It says, it's made of a thin multi-layer stack. This is the device. The topmost layer consists of an optically clear polymer. A number of micro holes connect the top layers of the panel to a series of micro channels that run through the underlying substrate. The micro channels are filled with a fluid whose optical index of refraction matches that of the surrounding material, making it fully and evenly transparent when the light from the display passes through. So you'll see in the picture I have here how this fluid goes through and it lifts up the screen and um, makes it so you can feel it on your fingers. So I think this is a really cool technology. Now um, they were saying that they were releasing these screen protectors for $150 with this technology in it um, last year. So it's hard to say if Nintendo can use this technology in their touchscreen controller for the NX, for the rumored and patented touchscreen controller, um, since it does look like it might be quite expensive, but definitely possible. And it also would make it interesting to see a controller designed for games that you would have the buttons be able to appear on the screen by themselves without, without having to add kind of any kind of attachment to it so I thought this was an excellent idea that if not this generation of handheld device maybe in a future gen generation that Nintendo could use I thought that this was something that I wanted to share with you guys and let me know what you guys think do you think that this is something that Nintendo could possibly do right now with the NX um, with their handheld device or do you think there's something that is just not quite there yet let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but uh, it's exciting to think about how this technology works. And if you enjoyed what you see here and you like the videos I'm doing, please hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel for more, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.